Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blood Dads. Office Blood Caden. Here we are, Sports Edition. Sports is for you. You know what to do. Like and subscribe. Mm hmm. Do it. Uh, it's March, Aiden, so what does that mean? It's a bit of a madness. Madness, March, madness. Um, we, again, we're a bit done by because we can't. We, we have. We can't really watch them live. No. They're not showing the late. early games, and they're only showing one game. Yeah. At a time. One, one, one game, game a day. A, pretty much one game around. There was only yeah. two games on in the first Hello. round. It's a bit naff the way they've done it over here this year because last year we had definitely had more. Yeah. And this year they just limited it for for whatever reason, but it's uh, it's not great. But um. Game from yesterday, uh, Houston versus Texas A&M. I think it was from a couple of days, couple of days ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, second round. I've heard about this. Apparently, it was like a very good ending well, to, imagine, to the regular time. I imagine it's a big uh, rivalry as well. Yeah, Texas A&M, Houston. Is it Houston Cougars? Cougars. Mm. Cougars. I've got a mate who's a big Cougar fan, a Cougs fan. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's on Facebook just blasting out Cougs. Like uh, propaganda, oh, yeah. every every five minutes you see it. Yeah, they have a good, good to it, see. They? Hmm? they have a big chance of winning it all. They do, yeah. They're one of the uh, the strong in it, aren't they? Let's uh, let's watch this. The Houston versus Texas A M. Texas A M. Red hot and full of confidence. They've won six of their last seven, and they get right to work with Obasiki. And they got to make sure they're sticking on Cryer because he's like lightning and can shoot it well. Sharp again, Clash. And he gets Houston his first place. Houston Cougars, 31 wins on the season. Finish the regular season number two in the AP poll. And Sharp buries another triple. He's not getting enough attention right now on the offensive end. Radford nice. bottles up, gets oh. it back, and he cleans it up. Good offense rebound. One thing Calvin Sampson touched on about this Texas A&M team, he said the one thing's different, they, they know what they want to do and how they want to play offensively. They've got a plan. What they call it? Ice. Oh, he's going to reset. Taylor. <laughs> Look at that. I think the A stands for agriculture. Agricultural. I think it's um, Texas Agricultural Mechanical, maybe. Is it? I know we've asked this before. It's, it's something like mechanical. There's a few. It's not just Texas that are A&M. There's a few te A&M's. Well, it's agricultural, agricultural, mechanical, so farming yeah. and uh, agricultural yeah. that kind of stuff. And uh, It's even mechanical or mining. Okay. Might be mining in some of them. Right. But uh, that's. I'm not 100% sure what the M is. I would say mechanical, but yeah. agricultural, mechanical. Oh, look at that too. Shed. Off the defense. Did you block that? I just missed it. You just missed it. Fire is there. Is his first and 15 foul against the Cougars. Here comes Rashford with his hesitation and he lays it up and in. Well, you got to remember that he's a lefty. I know that's simple, but Dunn came out first time on the floor, forced him to the right, even though he had Rashford has one of the best spins from the right to left. I'm sure we'll see that at some point. Roberts boy, pretty drop step and he goes glass. Aggies one and done as Houston keeps him off the offensive glass. Damian Dunn has checked into the game. This is Shed. Wilson out front. This is Sharp. Back to Shed. The fake. Two to shoot. Wilson will let it rip. And they missed. What I've noticed in the college games I've watched is they don't hit that many threes. No. Like I remember the other one. I think it was uh, UConn. There was only like three, four minutes left of the game and it said their three point this night was one for 20. Wow. And they were quite. they were winning big as well. Well, do you remember from when we were watching one last year? I um, can't remember who the team was now, but the guy had gone like, I think he'd gone something like a one for 12 of three three pointers yeah. throughout the game, but nailed the buzzer beater yeah, on a three. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> yeah well, that's all that matters, yeah, isn't yeah, it? I know, right? Good execution, though, by Houston. They used that clock and not rush to a four shot. Garcia on the box. Obasiki slinging it. And I hit threes in this game, though. Obasiki shooting it at a plus 50% clip. In his last seven starts, and he's picked up where he's left off. Shed oh, nice. high off glass. A little bit short, fight for it, and Sharp clears. You have to continue to read Texas A&M's defense. Look at Shed. Oh, oh that's nice. That's nice. Goal oh. Get a goal ten. Boy, that was awesome. You mentioned some of the, the thinness that they have with their front court. Huge loss of Joseph Tubler. Beautiful pass here, Garcia. Nice. Series of fakes. Eight or ten, he might go to him, but I think he'll want to save him for the second half. Francis has been on the bench for the last five minutes of game action. This is Wilson. They leave him open, and he hits. I like the look of his sharp on the Cougars. Mm. Looks good, doesn't he? Yeah, the whole Cougars team looks yeah, quite good. Yeah, they do, actually, yeah. But that sharp looks a little bit of a go-to player. Yeah. Big shot for the Cougars. 
Told you about that shin injury. Shed's gonna it's fire. Kid, 21. Back of the rim, no. Long rebound, Cryer elevates and nice. hits baseline. Houston has scored seven straight. This is Washington down to the box. Tough pass to Garcia. Tend to shoot. Little backdoor hit. Corner. I'm sorry, but sometimes you've got to like take your name and play there. Like, if my name's Washington, I'd probably play for Washington. Do you know what I mean? That's just like. So you go Ball State. I'll go Ball State, or I'll play. I'll just go to the NBA and play for Denver in the Ball Arena. <laughs> yeah. And a cleverness to that kid Garcia's game. See the way they're trying to get Shed to go along the baseline. Oh. I'll just play basketball. <laughs> Shed for Houston. Emmanuel oh, Sharp. Look at this full court action on Shed from Washington. Here comes the call. Oh, oh I have it. Have it. Wow, he went right by him initially. But Washington Got really well. put the uh. Jets on. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice. Slicing through the teeth of the defense. Great basket for the Aggies. Triers pass stolen. It's Radford. A foot race to the rock and he lays it up and in. He's so good at getting out in the open. Oh. Spiro, watch the way he hangs in the air. Up there, delays, and then finishes that off. Of where they are on the scoreboard. They're making a little run right now, so make sure you get a good shot. Radford has come alive. He's got a team high 10 points. Here he comes. Five to shoot. His pass deflected. Uh -huh. Nice interior defense yeah, by that. Francis. They read the spin. Oh, nice. Oh, nice pass. Wilson off the deflection. Oh. Kick sharp left open. That was and a nice play. Money in this opening half. From the Houston side, though. Watch the puck. Over here on this side of the floor, and the diagonal pass comes his way. And Sharp. Uh, 2019 is on the floor now for the Aggies. And Hepner, 63 has sent his shots at threes. Opacity has to hurry. Two to shoot. Fires, no. Another offensive rebound. Garcia relentless on the glass. A half of the setup. Garcia gets it back, and he's headed to the line. Look at him go after the ball. This time he knows he can grab it. What does he do? He feeds it to the middle of the floor, and they feed it right back. And this is some finish underneath to get mm. to the glass. Here's Gunn, the Temple transfer, calmly does it on that baseline. He initially didn't fit in early on in the season, but started to work his way back. The basic key, working hard. Good basketball, this close game, yeah, it was win. Look at the way they help out on the pick and roll. Basketball usually is. Yes. <laughs> <Houston, but they laughs> you know what I mean, good passing. Pryor thought about it, this is Shed knifing in, a leaner, tough shot. From a tough kid. And Spear, I'm going down the stat sheet too. And you look at the star, you know, the people on the Houston team. You know, there's one, two, three guys, four guys with two fouls or more, including Francis's three. So fouls are really mounting up. Here comes Shed, and he oh, takes nice contact. Tracing to finish it off. Watch after he gets hit. He starts to fall out of bounds right there towards the right. You know, we see that too often with them. Nice pick to the middle. Underneath, Coleman off the <laughs> Gets it to drop. And Houston usually plays that man-to-man -man all the time. Shed. <laughs> He's just too good. 11 points, 5 to 10 from the floor. Second Cougar in double figures. Oh. Oh, I was expecting oh. him to lay that up. Same. Beautifully executed. And watch this one, baby. Obasaki finishing it off. <clears throat> Looking to try to get this ball out of Shed's hands. Good ball movement by the Cougars. This is done. Chisels into the paint and he puts it down. Look at that number. 29 combined field goals and just three turnovers in the first half. Boy, the flick. <laughs> Redford. They have 11 now and they average 17. So they're nearing that average. And Houston's got to do a much better job of keeping him away from it. LJ Cryer, the Baylor transfer, gets the Cougars on the board. Keep in mind, Wade Taylor, the number one scorer, is 0 for 7. He's got one point if you've just joined us. Cryer! Some great passes moving. Uh, and he buries it for Like a very well coached team. Yeah. Anderson Garcia comes up with it. Here comes Taylor. They desperately need him oh, to get nice. going. And finally, their star has his first basket of the night. Taylor just blew right by him as they shift back into a zone right now. Taylor, the junior from Dallas. Here's Cryer, finds the lace and splash. 
nationally in made threes this season. He scored their last eight. This is a deep three. Carter, deep shot for the Aggies. It's like a 2-3 look. And now it's back to a, like a matchup. Boy, Sharp with the physical defense right in his chest. Let's see if Taylor can get streaky. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Back into his zone right now. Middle of the floor is wide open again. No flashes, no. Shed the bounce into the corner. Cryer, little bump, and he sticks it again. Yeah, pretty good matchup here for Shed to go by. Hand off Roberts, extends and puts it down. And Houston has its biggest lead. So here's Obasaki, 4 of 10 shooting. Crossover dribble, here he comes to the rack. Full extension, big basket for the Aggies. Really put a wrench in his season. But boy, as he put it together on the biggest stage. Francis on the catch, extends. Oh, oh he wanted it. What? He wanted that. Should make it happen. Oh, how did he get that? Just watch the girls on the back, where they jump up and then sit straight back down again. <laughs> Just watch if he shows it. Ball bounces. Pretty neat for a six -point. Enjoy Jamal it. Shed making his own March Madness. Great defensive effort by Houston down low. He was a freshman back in 21. He's trying to do what no player has ever done in the history of the sport. Win it with two different schools. That is a massive... Who are you talking about there? Shed. I thought they were talking about the coach. He said he was a freshman in 21. He's the first player to oh. try and win it with two different schools. That would be quite insane, that wouldn't yeah. it? And um, he mentioned Shed before it, and that Shed looks a pretty sharp player, doesn't he? Yeah. Looks pretty decent. But I'm not, I don't have to, I'm not like there's no he's talking about yeah. there. Three for Washington at a and Wade Taylor, by the way, is now one for seven from three. Roberts turns the corner, leans in, and he goes off glass. So we're off to the races that you just touched on. Six-point game. Cryer is going to feed the high post. Roberts attacks over two. What a shot! Run up to a double team right here, and he still reacts. It goes right over Garcia to finish it off. But he one or two times down the floor, you may want to call Taylor's name for Texas A&M and see if he can bury something. You're going to need him active. To keep oh, this is Cryer elevates big shot oh, oh. for Houston. That noise. Who's going to get uh, a hot hand for Texas A&M because they have to find somebody to get something to go down. Radford, massive shot for the Aggies. Instead of bringing in Lott, there you go. They go with Wilson up front with Robert. Well, the Aggies. The smart. Sequence. Real smart. Not only that drive, but the entry pass. Radford will be the inbound. There you go. Boy, Washington sneaks in for the open layup. That's just good. Did you see that James Madison score that crops up? Yeah, they got bad by Duke. Yeah. <laughs> James Madison. At least they won the first game, yeah. though. <laughs> Giving them a freebie right there. Free line. Double bonus for both teams from here on out. Two free throws. Nobody home at all there. Breakdown. Not a the Aggies bench. The officials make the call. Taylor with a quick hitter. He's going to fire. Oh, Ooh. Well, come back. This will be. Boy, you talk about getting to a spot and getting a shot off in a hurry. Look where he starts that shot. Radford throws in. They Three get it to game. Taylor. He's going to fire. No. Taylor, the rebound back. The flip misses. One second. Oh. <laughs> no, they're going to hit it, aren't they? Radford, the inbounder, looking to bounce. No. Oh, oh, he got it. <laughs> Insane. Like I mentioned, Spiro, whoever gets it, let her rip. Yeah, I love that. Fouls on personnel now are tough. Shed misfires. Watch out. Roberts oh, the save. Oh, oh, save. Looked like he was out of bounds, maybe. Short from deep. Shed against a point guard who's a little taller than. Done on the launch. Whoa. Too much. Look who it is. It's Walker. What a big time rebound. 63 seconds. Oh. Taylor has the answer. 10 seconds to shoot. 35 left in overtime. Shed. The hop. Damn, the game. 
They'll fire from the corner, the three. Hefner, no. Taylor lost it, and it is over. Unlucky. That sheds the player. It's close. Isn't it? I wonder if he's the one they said. You have to let us know if he's the one that they said. Yeah, they were hyping him up all game on the commentary. He was good, though. He was, he was the one... Well, I mean, I'm, the saying game. I'm not, not, I've not seen how he was in the first game. No, but he was controlling that game. Yeah, he was the go-to guy for controlling it, and along with that sharp, they've got some good players on there, haven't they? Yeah, twenty-three for the Aggies. Well, before. you would have expected them to have some good players, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, the number one, number one seed in their group, weren't they? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's getting, really, it's a great sport. It really is. And I'm talking about March Madness, not basketball. Oh, basketball is anyway. But the NCAA March Madness is yeah, just it's, it's better than it? watching the it's better than watching the NBA. It, yeah, yeah that's what I, I think mean. so. Yeah, so uh, like I said before, it's a bit like the FA Cup yeah. over here because you got you're always going to get them ones that come through with the upsets. Yeah, I just prefer them games when it's competition rather than having like an 82 long game season. Like, yeah, just let's just play a tournament at the end of even. Like, I know the playoffs. Even, are even good. though even the playoffs are seven games each. Each, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It gets it just knock out. out. You just yeah. want one game knock yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. That's where you get upsets with one game knock exactly. out. Exactly. You get a bit lucky. I think it works for you, doesn't it? It's just might just more like. People like playing harder and everything yeah. as well. It's just more fun. Yeah, good that though. Enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let us know who you think's gonna win it. Yeah, Arizona. <laughs> and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.